Welcome back. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Lisa and welcome to my fifth wedding series vlog. We are actually headed to a very special place right now. We just landed in Florida and we are heading to location now. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. to show you our venue and where we'll be having our wedding in December. Um, we are here for four days, so I think I'll combine it with just some of um, just the things that we get into here in Miami, places we eat at, places we love to eat at every time we come here, and maybe some new places that we are checking out now. Um, we are going to check out some places just for when we're here for a week for our wedding just so we have some recommendations for people or also just like a welcome drink or something like that um, that we're trying to plan but the main point of this video is just showing you through our venue it is the Eden Rock Hotel and where we'll be having our ceremony our uh, cocktail hour and our reception yeah so we'll be doing that in this video um unfortunately there is a hurricane happening this week in miami so we don't know if we'll be able to spend much time at the pool and the beach but it is what it is we're making the best out of it but didn't want to miss this opportunity to show you our venue before our wedding and this is probably going to be one of the last videos before the wedding vlog so that's super exciting because it's coming up really quick and it is crazy but yeah um, i'll take you guys throughout the week with us here i'll actually show you the room just in case if you're ever thinking about staying here or if you just want to check out the hotel but yeah i will see you guys in a little bit so this is our room. It is actually the junior suite. So you have two big closets, drawers, some water, full mirror. You have a desk here. And then you have a king size bed and a really large balcony. It is unfortunately raining right now. And this is the bathroom. It has a bathtub which you can open these blinds to see out into the room and toilet and full shower. <laughs> decided to try a new restaurant that we've actually never been to and it is called Call Me Gabby. It was so delicious. The food was amazing. The restaurant vibe was very beautiful and we would highly recommend checking this place out. This morning, we decided to take a little bike ride down to one of our favorite breakfast spots. Uh, 
Almost every time that we've come to Miami, we made it a point to come here for breakfast at least one time just because we love it so much. It is such a cute little hotel and the food is always so good. So this is one of the hotels we're staying at first for our week wedding. <laughs> so we're checking them out for our families so we can let them know. This is the Nautilus Arlo. It's really cute. A big arch over there with the table and chairs and then up there which I'll probably be able to show you tomorrow during our tour is where the cocktail hour will be hopefully during after the ceremony hopefully weather permitting it doesn't rain but hopefully I can show you guys that after and then the reception is inside and I'll show you that tomorrow as well it's just a ballroom a little terrace area but this is the hotel they have three pools I'm sorry three pools for the Eden Rock one pool for Nobu so I'll show you the pools up there that's the Nobu pool it's a smaller pool just for Nobu guests And then we have the top pool here. Down. Lower bottom pool. This is their Ocean Social Restaurant. It's really good and has a great view of the ocean. And this is the lower level pool. With another bar and seating area. And I think they're redoing the beach, but they have direct beach access where you can go and have a chair if you're staying here. Obviously, eat and drink. So I'm heading to the gym now. They have a nice wellness area here. They have a cute shop in here where you can buy bathing suits and accessories that you need. wellness is down there they have a salon and this is the fitness center So if you have watched any of my YouTubes before, you would know I am a personal trainer and I do like to live a holistic lifestyle. Even while on vacation, I love to take some time to get some movement in and make sure that I am focusing on my health at some point. Um, it actually, for me, relaxing is great on vacation, but also working out makes me even more relaxed. <laughs> 
um, but the Eden Rock does have a lovely, lovely gym with all the accessories you need to get a good workout in. They also provide classes every day, I believe, and they have schedules for their guests. If you would ever like to join, I would definitely check that out just because it's definitely a hotel perk that not all hotels provide to their guests. So I think that's definitely a plus when staying at this hotel. The weather started getting pretty bad in South Beach, Miami, so we ventured to the new Hard Rock Hotel in, I believe, the Fort Lauderdale area. And the hotel was really cool. Um, we went to this sports bar to watch some football and just entertain ourselves with some virtual games. Good morning, you guys. As you can tell, the hurricane has touched down in Miami. And we are hoping a, and maybe it kind of moves along, but we will see. Today, we have a bunch of things going on for the wedding. We are meeting with our day of coordinator, our venue planner. Um, we have our cake tasting, our food tasting, just everything. So it's kind of okay that it's rainy and disgusting outside um, right now. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just doing some last minute things here. So I'm just looking up some last minute Pinterest things. And then, um, you know, I created a whole presentation I want to talk to our um, planners about. So working on that now, enjoying some rain. We had to take our entire outdoor furniture inside because it, you know, it's a hurricane. So God forbid it blew into the window. So that's the situation we're at right now. So yeah, Alan just went to go get us some tea and coffee from the lobby and then we'll just be working on a few things and then I will see you guys later for the planning. So this is the floor that we are on for our reception. I'm planning to do some flowers and candles by the steps where the guests will come up. This is the room. It's basically just a big ballroom. And then there is a balcony out there, but it's really nice. It's basically your standard ballroom. In case the weather is not great that day, we will have the ceremony here. This wall will come out and it will be an indoor ceremony. food tasting. We were first greeted with champagne and little menus that had our names on them, our wedding date, food that we were requested to try, and the Nobu head chef and his sous chef actually brought out all of the dishes to us and kind of just talked us through the dishes, what they contained, how they were prepared. It was a really great experience and it made us that much more excited to have our wedding here and have our family enjoy these meals with us. So we just got back from our tasting, our meeting with our day of planner slash decorator, and the food was delicious. We ate everything. We're very excited for our guests to have such delicious meals on our wedding day, but we are so full. 
I never knew how much you actually eat at a wedding tasting, but it was very good, right? It was delicious. We we're excited. Now we're just relaxing and enjoying the views of Hurricane Ian. I don't know what we'll be doing later, but I will check in again with you guys later on. So it is our last morning in Miami and as you can see the weather is a bit gloomy. So we decided to do a bit of window shopping. We first stopped at the Vienna Bazaar. This is a beautiful boutique-like store. They have three floors of men's and women's clothing. We've actually been here before and we really love it. They have everything you can possibly need um, for your trip in Miami. If you love curated stores like this, I would highly recommend checking this place out. And then we headed to the Aventura Mall. I've actually never been to this mall in Miami and they have literally everything. And um, the atmosphere is just so cool here too. But we decided to pick up some lunch, just some smoothies and some healthier lunch here. And then we just headed back because there was nothing much to do outside as the weather was pretty gloomy, so. That was our day pretty much for the last day in Miami. Today was supposed to be leaving day. Today was supposed to be flying home. But the storm was pretty bad the past couple of days and a lot of flights had been delayed. So um, instead of just being delayed and having to wait at the airport and you know possibly have to stay overnight at a hotel by the airport, Alan and I decided to stay the rest of the weekend just because the weather is supposed to be absolutely perfect and we at least wanted to get a couple of nice days in for our trip here. We've unfortunately been in the hotel pretty much the whole time or just outside going for walks and just trying to um, do something outside. Uh, but it's just been crazy windy and rainy. But today it has really turned around. I'll show you the weather. As you can see the sun, well, the sun was just trying to come out, but it's not raining. It's a little bit windy still, but we are taking advantage of this weather today and the rest of the weekend. And we decided to stay a couple more days. Um, although it's been kind of crazy windy and raining and obviously the hurricane like was very bad and especially some areas in like the Tampa and Orlando area. Thankfully, we did not get as much um as much of the hurricane here so that was good but we decided to stay but other than that we did get a ton of things done for the wedding as you can see in the video we did our tasting we met with our day of planner and a florist and coordinator she is the one that's doing it all um i didn't film that just because we were just speaking about a bunch of different things which she was super insightful about as I mentioned, I am planning my own wedding and, you know, I talked about that with her and some of the things that, you know, I thought I wanted to do and she was super helpful and like some of the things and some of the ideas that I had, she really gave me a better understanding of how that would look for our wedding. If you are planning your own wedding, as I mentioned in my, I believe my second wedding vlog, um, really, really 
consider having a day of coordinator. Someone that even will meet with you a couple of times before your wedding. Like she is meeting with me two times before my wedding. So she is my day of planner, but she's also helping me kind of guide me through this process and making sure that I'm kind of on the right path and have everything you know, going in the right direction because some things that she mentioned, I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. And thank God she brought things up because if I hadn't thought of that or if, you know, I met her the day of, it would have been too late. So yeah, just some things to keep in mind, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed touring some of the Eden Rock Hotel. If you are ever interested in staying here, Alan and I have stayed here many times um it was actually one of our first vacations together so that is kind of the whole meaning behind us getting married here just because it's a very sentimental and nostalgic place for us because it was one of our first holidays together and here we are now <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna spend the rest of the day probably we will head to the pool and then um check out and then we'll head to our next destination we are staying in another hotel and I will take you guys through that with us. Um, it is actually the Good Time Hotel and I've always wanted to stay there. It's very interesting. Um, I believe it's like Pharrell's Hotel or something, but it looks really very aesthetic. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, please do subscribe because that helps me create more content for you and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.